What's up guys, um, just today uh, I'm going to do a tutorial obviously on how to do the, uh, uh, how to install a play claw. Um, it was that video I made of COD4 when I said it was the best recorder for games on, on the PC. So best screen recorder for games. And you guys obviously requested that many times that you wanted wanted me to do a tutorial on how, how, to, get, how to actually get this recorder the activated version for free um, so I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do it so I'll just get the, get the point, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you um, the download I'm gonna show you the scan so you guys can make sure that it's it's clean, I mean I've scanned it that many times so here it is, um, click download now, the link will be in the description for it um, you gotta wait about 50 seconds I think it is um, Basically, I've scanned it that many times with that many systems, antiviruses, sorry. Um, I've got my friends to scan it, I've got people I know online to scan it. I've got quite a few people to actually scan it with, with different antivirus systems. I've used Kaspersky, AVG, uh, Norton, uh, there's, there's, there's loads, there's absolutely, there's a few. And some, some I've never even heard of. But even they, even they came up. There was nothing inside of it. So, and the number one antivirus for me, yeah, <laughs> no, number one antivirus AVG. Here it is. Um, that that scanned it, and there was no none in it. So, and that's pretty good for AVG. So here it is. Just click, uh, click here to download. Uh, save the file where you want it. Now you want to save it if you want to scan it. If you don't want to scan it, just click open with, but I'm going to save it for this tutorial because I want to scan it to show you guys, obviously, before you download it. Now you're obviously going to need zip, uh, um, dot, dot .zip um, compatibility with your computer, so you're going to need to download either 7-zip or WinRAR. Now I've got WinRAR and 7-zip, but I'm going to use WinRAR for this because it's probably the best system to use. It's probably the easiest looking and best looking. So I'm going to save the file, click OK. Let's move on. Um, so go into your area of your uh, downloaded to right click it and I'm going to scan it with AVG there's the scan no infection was found during the scan so that was the scan and there was nothing found in it by AVG and that's a pretty good system so uh, it just closes all this down uh, open up the WinZip file or the 7-zip It'll open up as this. Um, you can either extract it to desktop or somewhere else, but that doesn't really matter. Or you can double click on it, and then it'll obviously come up the install. If you're on Vista or something, you have to click allow or run as administrator. Um, it'll come up this. This destination folder should automatically be in the program files, but if you want to save it in like um, say so yeah, an external external hard drive, you can do that. Yeah, just click browse and choose it there. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Click next. Uh, I want to create create a desktop icon. It'll install. It's installing. Wouldn't take that long. And then click finish. Close that down. And uh, I'll close that down. And I will look for it. It should be in the all programs. Or you can type it in there. So play claw. There. Or you can search it in here. Click Cytex 6 software. I don't know how to say that. Click Play Claw there. It'll click Allow if you're on 7 or Vista. Now this is an important part. It'll come up. It will come up as Russian, a Russian language, because it was cracked by a Russian. I think. I think it was. I'm sure it was cracked by a Russian guy, and that's why. It, that's why it's set in Russian. So you just all you have to do is just load it up, click that bit, and then find. The language that you need or the language that you speak obviously I'm going to click English because that's what I speak it'll say restart the program so you close the program program, uh, program sorry down open it back up and then it should be in the language it chose and obviously you can understand it better so you can choose all this any of this just, just look around same with screenshots as well now this is what we want the videos so this is the folders where it's going to save. So you click this icon here, and then choose the folder you want to put it in. So I'm going to go down and 
these videos so it'll save my videos and now this bit is probably the most important part this is where you start and you stop or you cancel re -record recording or you pause your recording so you just need to choose a key that isn't going to interfere with your game so when you go full screen with the game you need to choose a key that's not, not used by the game because if you choose an arrow key or a, a W key or A, S, D stuff like that that's ne needed for movement or needed for gunfire or jump needed to jump it or something like that or, or for the, um, the, main, the main menu or for the pause menu or anything like that you're going to be basically knacked because you, every time you press it it's going to start recording if so, it's, so you're going to need a key that you aren't actually going to use in the game so you're probably best off changing this every time you go into a different game and you want to record a different game so just choose key you want so I'm going to check, uh, click up because I don't use that in COD 4 obviously and then you can choose these two but I'm not going to choose them cancel record is really 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 helpful in case like you mess up and you want to stop it you just choose one I'll, I'll, include, I'll choose down now the compression you can put it high so it compresses faster and a better uh, better lower file size but well, I'd probably choose low compression because it does honestly it does not really affect the um, file size that much because it's, it's really good compression is extremely good it does not give it give you a very 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 big file size like uh, fraps or like xfire or anything like that so yeah um, frame size you can choose either full size or half half but I'd go with full size because it's best because it'll come up with the best quality frame rate you are obviously gonna choose 15 that's not realistic but 30 is the most realistic one now if you choose however if you choose 60 you'll be able to slow so it down faster and you'll be able to do twixter to anything and that and it'll come out as good but take in mind when you're recording the game if your system is not good enough to record the game in like say you want, you want to record in 60 but the game will not record in six, uh, will not play in 60 fps because your computer is not good enough then obviously even if you check uh, even if you ch check um 60 is a frame rate it will not record in 60 it will record lower than that or record the original frame rate that it is so you're probably best off choosing 30 so a number of calls I'm not sure where you can change that if you know what you're doing I think it's just a better graphics or something like that but I'm just gonna leave it on one sound source um, you're gonna choose the uh, speakers now look for the speakers you should have microphone and speakers but if you've got more you're probably best to look looking that on Google, uh, what it's about and that, how you're going to choose it, or you can test it, choose on it if you want it individually, until you actually get your system sound recording. And then uh, input line, you, I'm going to choose stereo because mine's a stereo system. But if it's uh, surround sound, like 7.1, 5.1, then you can choose multi-channel audio. But obviously, I haven't got that, so it's not record going to record on that. And that's it. Overlays you can change, but I'm not really going to change it that much. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You just load up the game. When you load up the game, it should come up here, about here in the, in the game. It should come up um, big digits, like yellow, uh, yellow digits with a black outline, and it, it should, that should tell you what the FPS is. So if it says 40. It, it means it means you're playing currently at 40 FPS, but it will change over seconds. It will keep changing every every like second or so. And underneath it will say the file size it's like currently is, so it, that will change like every second or something. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope that helps. If if you've got like any problems, just comment on the video. Or tell me what what's up, um, and I'll try and help. I'll try and help as fast as possible. And yeah that's it so enjoy you guys and uh, I hope it helps you and this pretty much took me a while to find because the recorders were pretty annoying when I was recording and it was very laggy but this this recorder basically records no no, no memory it, it takes no memory at all I mean I've got a good system but I've, I haven't got a good enough system to run COD 4 without lag 
Now if I record this, if I record Quad 4 with this uh, play call, it would record like it normally would in, in a normal game. So, no lag. So, yeah. See ya.